each of which is capable of generating 130 megawatts of energy. That is enough to power about 65,000 homes. Here on the Arizona side, there are nine generators. So altogether, 17. If all 17 generators were online at the same time, that would be able to generate 2,080 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power 1,300,000 homes. Looking to the generators themselves, each is about seven stories tall, with the top 30 feet or so visible to us. The water we were talking about earlier comes down below the floor to enter the turbine, which spins the steel cylinder shaft that you can see through that lit window. Yes, it's about halfway up. That cylinder is attached to the turbine at the base of the generator and connects to the rotor, which is right behind the red panels that you can see. Each rotor weighs 560 tons, and it spins its electromagnets inside a copper coil stator at a rate of about 180 revolutions per minute, or 48 miles per hour, which excites the electrons and generates electricity. Looking up to the large American flag, this is connected to a bridge crane, one of two that we have here on the Nevada side, the other being on the far back wall that you can see. Each one of these can lift up to 300 tons. Statue of Liberty in New York City, she weighs 225 tons, so one of these bridge cranes would have no trouble lifting up Lady Liberty. However, you'll recall that I mentioned that the rotors each weigh 560 tons, so it would take both of our bridge cranes and a combined effort and a lifting capacity of 600 tons in order to lift out one of the 560-ton rotors. Looking down to the floor, you can see a rust-colored horizontal turbine. That is one of two we have here on site, the other being on the Arizona side. This is a Pelton water wheel generator, and it is responsible for 2.4 megawatts of electricity here at the dam. Now, that doesn't sound like much when compared to the generators, but when you consider that it is used for the power here for all operations at the dam, the power plant, and the visitor center. So that takes care of all our in-house power. From here, where do you think the dam would be? Where's the dam from where we're standing? Yes, so those are the balconies behind you. Yep, to your right. So behind that back wall, that is where the dam is. Just, that's not the dam, but right behind. Here. Through 450 feet of concrete is Lake E, and it's four trillion gallons of water. But fear not, my friends. Hoover Dam is a freestanding arch gravity type dam, and what that means is that the weight of the concrete itself holds back the, the pressure from Lake Mead. And then the arch design of the dam dissipates that pressure into the walls of Black Canyon. So we should be okay for right now. At the top of the dam, the crest is 45 feet thick. At the base, it is 660 feet thick. To give you an idea of how much that is, if you look back across to the back bay wall, that is about 650 feet away from us right now. So you have to add another 10 feet to get an idea of how thick the base of Hoover Dam is, 660 feet. Speaking of feet, go ahead and look down at yours. You might have noticed that we've been standing on this incredible terrazzo flooring. This was installed in 1936 and 37 by the Martina Brothers. And it was added in order to complement the overall Art Deco style of the dam. You might have also noticed these interesting floor designs. There's one here by me and then the circular one behind most of you over there. These are meant to incorporate the signs of power with a Southwest Indian style. So the circular 